cortisol is often pointed to as a reason why people either can't lose weight or are overweight in the first place. In this content, I'm going to show you a bit of data from a study showing how the effect weight loss has on cortisol levels in lean individuals, as well as obese individuals with and without metabolic syndrome. How does weight loss affect our cortisol levels? Let's find out. Learn Your Body, a science-based education. This study, as well as my notes and amendments, are all linked to this content for you. That said, how did the researchers probe this question for weight loss and cortisol? They recruited 18 people, six lean, six obese, and six obese with metabolic syndrome. They then had them come into the lab after an overnight fast and tested their blood cortisol levels over three hours before and after consuming the same breakfast. Then they put the overweight participants on a moderate calorie deficit for 10 weeks to induce weight loss and repeated the experiment. They lost around eight kilograms over the 10 weeks, but what happened to their cortisol levels? Their cortisol levels increased to levels comparable to the lean individuals. This is because obese individuals' cortisol levels were much lower before. When spurred by weight loss, their cortisol levels bound upwards. Why would they get results like that, however? Well, as much as people look at cortisol as an unfavorable hormone, it is, nonetheless, a lipolytic hormone, meaning it encourages fat breakdown from the fat cells. So during fat loss or any time a person is leaner, being able to rely on a higher degree of cortisol flexibility to encourage that fat release is favorable. So overall, weight loss does encourage higher cortisol in overweight individuals, regardless of metabolic syndrome, which is more in line with leaner individuals, implying better hormonal flexibility from a fasted to non-fasted state. I hope this proved informative and I look forward to speaking with you in the near future. Thanks for stopping by. Cheers.